My name's Charlie Martin. I'm a professional racing driver and an LGBTQ plus activist. I would like to understand what was, were your main adversities being a transgender woman going inside uh, such a uh, masculine uh, sport, consider masculine sport as racing uh, and as a transgender woman, how was it was for you and how it began? When I began racing, you know, I was 23, 24 years old, I finished university. Back then that was before I was you know, realistically thinking that I could transition. I'm never going to be accepted as a transgender woman in this space and therefore that just means me being me as the world sees me right now and, and trying, to, trying to just start at the bottom and build my way up. You start to create barriers in your mind before you even experience them in reality. I wasn't scared, I wouldn't feel like I was, I wasn't seeing myself in the mirror and judging myself every day. It's very interesting when you talk about these uh, adversities because of course it's a completely different level of adversity but it would be very interesting for you to, to imagine how it was for us uh, and many for me and Louise when we started with, uh, with FFS the way we were looked at by uh, other professionals or by colleagues really? or even the medical community. Yeah, it was very very difficult in the beginning. That's incredible and it, you know, there's a, a lot to be said there about your integrity, you know, doing what feels right and not what you feel the world is expecting you to do. What have been you involved in, with the trans community or the LGBTQ community uh, besides uh, sports? I guess use my platform effectively to, to try and create more awareness, try and create more acceptance and um, you know, working with Stonewall for example as a sports champion, it's it's been amazing, something I, I'm trying to do myself uh, just this year. I, I joined the uh, FIA Girls on Track UK okay. uh, program, which is all about getting young girls into motorsport, whether, whether they want to be drivers, whether they want to be designers, engineers, whatever. Charlie, tell me a bit, what do you see in the future for you on, in sport or in personal life? I, I mean, in sport, uh, the big goal is, is trying to race at the 24 hours of Le Mans and do something that would make LGBTQ plus history as the first transgender driver to ever do this. And, I, and that's why I think it's, it's important for me, not only just as a driver to go and compete at the highest level I can imagine, but to do something that actually really creates a change, creates hope for other people uh, and shows that certainly in motorsport, you know, anyone has the right to be here doing the sport they love. We have um, um, a lot of plans for the future as well. We want to keep improving the techniques that we use. The way we do surgery now, now is different than what we did 10 years ago and we, we want to keep improving for safety, for reliability and uh, yeah, we, our goal is to, to keep, keep being able to receive uh, more patients, uh, deliver uh, results that at least like yours, uh, people that become uh, a bit happier in life after, after the surgery. This is our goal of course and being able to make to leave this mark in, in patients lives well i think that would be an incredible legacy i mean you've made me more than just a bit happy in my life so i think uh, i think that's an amazing goal to set yourself happy i'm happy to hear it yeah i wish you every success i'm sure thank you'll you. continue to achieve it thank you so much